Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is Dee, and today's tarot card of the day out of the Wildwood Tarot deck is Seven of Arrows and Insecurity. And um, you've got two sevens here. One at the beginning, which is the Seven of Stones and Healing, and today's card, which is at the end. All right, and uh, you know, seven for me is a very lucky number. Uh, it's also uh, very divine as well. That's the best, best way I can say it because... You know, when, when there's sevens within a spread, it usually means that, uh, you know, there's some signs or the universe or God or spirit is trying to tell you something. All right. And you've got one here that wants you to heal and another here to, you know, to, this is insecurity. So it wants you to be secure in the decision that you're making because the universe is going to guide you down that path. And you have to walk it with confidence, all right? You have to walk it with strength and, you know, with your, with your head held high. You can't let the naysayers, you know, get behind you and, you know, push doubt into your head, okay? Because fear and confusion leads to instability and panic. And once you get into a panic mode, all chaos breaks out. You lose control, okay? Worry and fear starts creeping up and then maybe you get mad okay so you know with this card it talks about a lack of self-discipline or emotional insecurity is what fuels our fears okay what I'm going to tell you to do tomorrow is be disciplined don't and let the emotions get the best of you okay and and don't let that that worry or fear Okay, fuel what's going to happen. Most of us are going to be off tomorrow. Um, you know, we're gonna, you know some of us you know may not want to go back to work and enjoy the three three day weekend. But you know what? You're going to have to go back to work eventually. All right. And if there's something that you don't want to face, face it, own up to it. You know, and you know, you know, just tackle that challenge. All right, and don't let other people see the fear or worry. You know, that's, you know, possibly bringing you down. And that's if you got an issue. If you don't have an issue, that's even better. All right? Be disciplined and, you know, stay emotionally secure. Um, if you don't be, be disciplined and you feel that insecurity, what that ends up doing is that creates some self-destruction, then, which then creates more fear. It's a, it's a downward spiral. And that's what we're trying to avoid. Okay? We're trying to avoid that downward spiral that's going to happen. All right. Don't be confused with what's going on. Realize, you know, you have to take that step back. Kind of give yourself some self-awareness and say, you know what? This is what's going on. Emotionally, I can't get wrapped up in this. I have to control myself to a point where I'm not going to let fear and worry guide me throughout the day. And whether we know it or not, we are the only ones responsible for our fears. Our mind drives that, okay? And we, you know, we can make mountains out of molehills. But if you're emotionally secure, okay, and you stay disciplined, and you realize that this is just an, an antic of, of your overactive imagination, all right, you could come out of this knowing that these there's messages out there for healing and for staying secure learn from the past look within okay and you know possibly look in the past of what's been going on in your life and say has this happened before what can i do different um you know what did i do last time that this popped up what can i do different going forward and look at the positives of what's happening. Another thing you can do as well is forgive others. Forgive yourself as well, because if you're if you're putting that fear and worry upon yourself, you're pretty much self-sabotaging yourself. And you know that's that just brings on some more of this this fear and confusion. And as I look at this. Um, you know, she's got, the vines are, are capturing her. 
She's got her eyes closed. She's envisioning this. She's envisioning the arrows, you know, coming at her. She's already got two, you know, into her shoulders. Okay. This green woman standing on a rock is trying not to be, you know, trying not to be grabbed into the forest. Okay. But she's not doing anything. She's not doing anything to move forward. She's just standing there. Okay, there's no action within this. And arrows, arrows is all about logic and reasoning. So it's all mental. It's all intellect. And if we can control that intellect and realize the fear and confusion that's going on and be disciplined and emotionally secure, we don't have to worry about it going forward. Okay. Now, maybe there's a lot going on. Maybe you have a lot of responsibility, as we talked about yesterday, that 10, that 10 of bows, you know? Maybe the universe is trying to tell you something. There's you know, a couple of life lessons cards here too. Is you got two tens, two sevens, and two life lessons cards. You know, the moon is guiding you. The moon, you know, is helping you with that emotions, with those emotions, I should say. The moon wants to help you with that security. One of the completion cards, the Ten of Arrows, instruction. As he's helping the, as he's helping that child, he's not insecure. He's secure in knowing his knowledge to help teach. The child is, is secure in knowing, okay, that the teacher is going to show him the right thing to do. Letting things go that don't serve you, the journey card. If you let if you let what happens in the past go, okay, if you don't focus on that fear and worry, life is going to be so much easier for you. You've got the six of bows in abundance, all right? Look at all the plentiful fruit in that. What is to be insecure? You're being fed there for a long time. And when we talked about it yesterday with that ten of bows responsibility, you're carrying all this up to the tribe. You've been given a great responsibility to lead, to lead by example, okay? The tribe, you know, is, is blessing you with this responsibility. Take it and run with it. Don't be insecure with it. And then you've got the seven of stones for healing. Rely on that card to heal you as you go throughout the week. Heal that worry, heal that fear. Meditate, you know, when you wake up tomorrow morning or after you see this video. Meditate on whatever it is that's worrying and fear, you know, making you fearful. And just let it go, just give it to the universe. Just give it to the universe and just say, you know what, I'm done. I'm not gonna worry about this anymore. This doesn't scare me. I will face whatever I have to face. Knowing that I'm gonna be disciplined, and emotionally secure and moving forward. So that's today's message out of the uh, Wildwood Tarot deck, that seven of arrows, insecure, insecurity. Uh, hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments down below and share it with others. And this is D for the Spirit's Path. Take care, God bless, and stay safe, everybody.